welcome to Carry On Gaming Podcast. Each week, we record this thing. Sometimes people watch. Uh, my name is Grady. You can find me on Twitter at a friendly pest. I'm joined by. I'm Stefan, and I do the editing and edit these out. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hellblaze underscore Sith. The only is not Grady. I like Soul Grady. Shaker. Hello, I'm Dan. <laughs> I'm back from the dead again. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at JanoMandan, and also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter because they didn't plug it, so I said I would. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, once in a while, Dan even uploads our to Spotify, so you can check it out. <laughs> <laughs> One time. Hi. Hi, I'm I'm Chris, and um, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at mm, good good nuts. Oh, I am eating. <gasps> oh, what do you want me to do, Dan? Just choke on them? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> that anyway, would like be it good said, content. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is I am Universe Twenty Five. <laughs> choke it on some nuts. <laughs> These nuts. That'd be a hell of a way to go, wouldn't it? I mean, man dies choking on nuts. I've always thought suffocation would be one of the worst ways to die. To be honest, you'd have too much time to think about it as it slowly happened. <laughs> Yeah, but you, mm-hmm. you you become euphoric though towards the end. Do you? Yeah, some people get an yeah. erection by getting choked. <laughs> I know I do. I mean, <laughs> there you go. Anyway, uh, thought at, it was for at, more sex facts. At, wait, don't, I'm trying to. Oh god. At now you know how me, now you know how me and Grady feel when we're talking. I am autoerotic asphyxiation twenty five. <laughs> That's hmm. one. That's my side project. <laughs> I I hate myself for doing this because I'm gonna have to edit this. Right. I really hate myself. It'll be, right. It'll be, It'll right. be fine. Just leave it all in. <laughs> That's what she said. Hell yeah. Carry on. Dan. <laughs> Dan, I understand you've been playing some games this week. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Dan. <laughs> that was like so accusationary as well. <laughs> well I was trying to cut through the chaff to get to the target. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll make a statement here through the expletives and bullshit. <laughs> Yo, Dan. Okay, so, um, yeah, I was on holidays last week, so, um, got, it wasn't gaming then, but got back into a bit of gaming this week. Um, on Grady's, like, so Grady recommended I install Psychonauts 2, so I did that last night. Been playing that all morning. I have to say, so far, I didn't want to say it because I don't want it, you know, it to go to his head, but he was right. It is very clever. Just the way they deal with, like, mental health topics like addiction. Uh, yeah, I, like, for example, I just, I just dealt with someone's gambling addiction, which I accidentally gave them by meddling with their spoilers. mind. Spoilers. I'm not, I'm not naming characters. Besides that. It's, God, I can't even it, play it now. I don't understand how, how it's supposed to go to my head that you appreciated a game that somebody else made that I also enjoyed, but continue. Because <laughs> you're the one who was like, oh, you've got to play this. I demand that you play this. help if I enjoy something he liked, too. Now we're so, uh, yeah, that's been good. Enjoying that. That's what I've been playing. Uh, weirdly, I've been getting into State of Decay, too. Um, we played that in, like, we had a game, like, uh, like all uh, evening together, two like, weeks two weeks ago. ago. Yeah. But like I've been playing it since, like, and I've been building up my settlement, and surprisingly, it's got its hooks into me. And those games don't Great usually game. get me, but this one got me. We we need to do another game night and turn yes. that up to like impossible mode and just see how we do. That is such a good game. Chris, mm. get in the truck. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. I'll drive if you want to play. Then on the PlayStation, I went back and played a little bit of uh, Marvel's Avengers. Um, just met in the Black Panther pack is all right, not great. But like, um, that game has just lost its longevity for me. I'm only playing it a little bit because, like, I'm really hyped for Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's coming next month. So I have to keep myself busy. That's coming out. Already. Um, yeah, next month. I'll be damned. Hey, you, you said uh, Black Panther. There was a Black yeah. Panther segment, and it was good, but just, you know, not great. I've only played a little bit of it, but like, um. Kratos' voice actor, Christopher Judge, is playing T'Challa, so, and he does a pretty good job. Well, I'm just saying, because if it's, like, okay, but not really that great, then it's just like the, that overrated movie. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you get a punch in a minute. Now you're outnumbered. You're outnumbered, Dan. Yeah, well, I'm still going to punch. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. <laughs> 
<laughs> gonna go down fighting. Speaking like, of going down, like that, uh, State of Decay. I, uh, I watched. Uh, Loser has to get into the truck night. first. You don't watch stuff. I watched A Quiet Place last night. Dan, what do you think of oh, that yeah. movie? Uh, I've never actually seen it. Really? How do you mm. call yourself a PhD or something? MA. <laughs> yeah, Master whatever. of Arts. It was okay. I was hoping you'd like it so I could trash it. So you kind of took <laughs> the fun out of it. But <laughs> Poor baby. Anyway. You play anything else? Game Dev Tycoon? Because I, obviously I had to. What? You really don't have to mention that. <laughs> what happened this time? Did what, you what, make yeah. some games? <laughs> <laughs> What games did you make? Um, Simulator. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> you know, there's going to be a Mario coin there, and then people won't know what you said. You said... <laughs> <laughs> Is that it, Dan? What about Deathloop? Didn't Deathloop come out? I figured you'd want to play that. No, he hasn't, it it. So he hasn't played it. He hasn't played it. He confessed on the interview he hasn't played it yet. He needs to get I it. have to manage. I haven't got that much money at the minute, and if I want to get Guardians, I have to balance my money. So I'll get Deathflu later. But I, yeah. You you hyped that so much. Now, I really wanted to hear what you think about it because I I watched some reviews and I watched some actual gameplay for it, and like my first impression that the game wasn't for me, right? Mm. But then I've heard some people talk about it, and like even though they kind of half sell it as a roguelike that it doesn't really play like a roguelike so maybe i would like it i don't know i wanted to hear your thoughts on it yeah i don't have a million uh, euro unfortunately so i can't buy I everything they charge that much for playstation out. exclusives these days <laughs> you get most no, of your can't. games free that's <laughs> bullshit actually <laughs> how so <laughs> I, d I don't get any free games you got a free you upgrade. Constantly have access to games that you didn't pay the, for. Then, like the upgrade was like when I say free, I mean I traded something in towards it. That's not what free means. Well, that's what I mean. That's well. That's well what, what he means. really means is torrenting. What you no, need to do is no. open an OnlyFans account. <laughs> so Everyone, look at little Dan. I can honestly say, like, if, if Deathloop was on Xbox today, I wouldn't have bought it. I would. If it came to Game Pass, I'd probably try it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not sold yet because uh, I've got a PC that had run it and I didn't pick it up. But uh, I don't know. I really wanted to hear what you thought on it because I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I've got the wrong idea about it. That it, maybe it plays a little more like a traditional campaign than just a, a roguelike, which was my fear because I'm not a roguelike fan. I will get Chris, it. I, just I need did my not money realize it. it came out on PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it did, but it's the PC release is very glitchy. Apparently, did no what one game isn't tell from Bethesda? Me. Did someone, someone say my name? Yeah, I was going to ask you what you've been playing this week. Oh yeah, sure. Hold on. I tried Humankind. And what is that? that? It's freaking Civilization. Oh okay. It's uh, really I played it for I don't know maybe I'm trying to look at how many hours, but but my Xbox app is just not running. So screw it. I've played it for. A while and I'm, I just I really don't see what makes it special <laughs> there were you saying you were gonna get sucked into it for 50 hours yeah well I mean Civ can still do that to me and this could do it as well I just don't see what makes it any different than Civ really I, basically it's the same game like oh you can choose from a bunch of different cultures throughout the game like oh wow that's original how innovative. There's only only so much room to be innovative in that game genre. Uh, to say that, yeah, it's, I'm not really sure what they could do to make it. They different. pretty much got two flavors. Flavors, kind of what they did with the newer Warhammer games, or faster squad based. You know, with maybe uh, yeah. eight units, or go back to the old style base building and huge armies. Yeah, I don't the, know. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I just it's it doesn't set itself apart that I have seen yet. I played Drunken Bar Fight on virtual reality. It is absolutely awful, but that's what makes it kind of fun because stupid things happen, and you know, who could ever get enough of that? We should have uh, designed a VR game. I should have Unity and a complete lack of talent. I could have had something out there quick, <laughs> and people would have bought it because they're desperate for something to play. <laughs> yep, well, YouTubers would be all over it just because they want to live stream it. Yeah. Have you have you tried this gas um, station simulator that everyone's going mad for on Steam? Like, that looks very much like a VR game Wait. where you just 
run the gas station. What's there to do? Raise prices on Friday, drop them on Tuesday. Yeah, I've been playing much because I've been working on uh, bringing Grady and I's YouTube channel back, which I'm getting absolutely no help from him on. (laughs) So it's your YouTube channel then? Well, no, I didn't ask for help, but I said I was doing it. But, you know, it's it's fine. I have been supportive and responded to messages I didn't care about. (laughs) Steph, what have you been playing? Scrolls online. Uh, <laughs> is that all? No. So, next, we, next topic. Uh, we've got an. I've Steph got, the sound. It's t- I think the sound like a Microsoft Word template. I <laughs> got very far in Elder Scrolls over the weekend. I have now finished the main quest line. Yay, go me! I finished the Covenant Daggerfall quest line. So I think I'm going to go to Cyrodiil um, this weekend. If I can persuade poor Nadalina to switch to the Covenant Daggerfall, which is the best Some alliance there is. PvP action. Yes, PvP. Some um, hot one-on-one action. So the the actual main story was quite interesting. Like in the end, you get your soul back. Major spoiler. But wow. how it was, it, it was. <laughs> you <a> major spoiler <laughs> after it. Could, could you repeat that in case someone missed it? Yeah, in you, case somebody else didn't have the game run for him. You <laughs> get your soul oh. back. Do you know only 7% of every Xbox player has done the main quest line? I'm not I got surprised. an achievement for it. Um, <laughs> just because they're smart. No, it's Do you know necromancers are really just cleric that aren't very punctual? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that the other day. I, I'm not going to tell you what I did on Elder Scrolls. Fine. It's not going to tell you what I did. I don't want to spoil any other parts of the game for anybody that wants to play it. Oh, come on. It's been out for absolutely bloody years. If somebody's going to spoil for someone now, Jesus, I pick it up and start it. playing it. Well, then stop playing it. Nobody else here. Long. Sounds like 93% of players haven't finished it yet. Go, go, get on with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I bet someone's like, oh my God, I have not finished Skyrim. It's been out for 10 years. I haven't finished it yet. Don't run it. How do we There you go to Sovngarde. <laughs> You, guess I don't what? Their names, You're Dan, the so Dragonborn. Sure. <gasps> <That's how laughs> it I didn't make it that far in the story. That's like right at the beginning. I met the <laughs> Greybeard, <laughs> and then I stopped. Uh, Fuss, uh, ro, da! Exactly. <laughs> right, so also in Elder Scrolls. So we did some dungeons, which is chaotic. You need a really good tank when doing dungeons. And we got stuck with two really sh- ones who kept running off and then complaining that I died and I'm like I'm a squishy mage uh, do your tank job and actually take the aggro so they ended up quitting uh, the dungeon I'm like good and we found someone new um, I had someone get really upset with me about farming um, well they were farming and I was walking through and I'm like I'm just gonna attack these guys to boost up some of my um, XP <laughs> They sent me a message in French, and they were really angry, and I was like, it's cool. Oh, no, 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 they do do this to us, you, 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 no, no, There was more, worse words than that. <laughs> and then uh, I just said, welcome to MMOs, like, because that's what you do. So the dungeons are raids then? How long are those? Yeah. Oh, God. I think we spent an hour and a half, two hours in one of them. That's it pretty was, long. But yeah. that, we had a really bad tank, because... Um, so you have the healer, two damage dealers and a tank and one of them we kept dying because the tank wasn't taking the aggro and it was, it was just awful um, so then I had to tell Eleanor to step back and let me kill these stuff certain monsters because you need range otherwise you get blown up so I found out I got a reanimate skill so I can bring people back from the dead r- relatively quickly instead of uh, reviving um must yeah, we have also... been a Sherman tank, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, and we also did some smaller dungeons, which are much quicker to run through, probably like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So much quicker. Yeah, that's about it, what we did multiplayer-wise. I've just been going through different quests. Um, bought a wolf, so I can now ride a wolf around Tamriel. And I guess today when I'm playing, I am going to hit Cyrodiil. Because I could do the other Alliance mission. So when you complete the main story, um, you, 
to get to complete the main storyline, you need to complete your alliance's um, quest line, and at the end of it, you get this medal, and then you can uh, start with the other alliances. So you still, for me, I'll still be Daggerfall Covenant, but I'll be all forgotten about, and I'll be running as the story from fresh. And I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna do those missions manually, and not get the achievement, and do it on a different character. So there's still a lot to explore. I've still got a lot of the DLC to do I haven't done yet. So I'll be doing that next. Yeah, that's all I can play in. I don't have a life. Yeah, and we didn't play State of Decay 2 last week. You need a little we got to play that again. <laughs> Who's he talking to? What's up? Nigel. No, Talk to no, Nigel. I, did I miss something? I'm sorry. I have... <laughs> Mobile game wise, I've been playing the same games on there, so I'm not really gonna go into details with that. You know what? I've never talked about mobile. Uh, I play um, Scrabble. Which Scrabble? Is the only that one that matters? Uh, what, the actual the... Scrabble is it Word with Friends? I think it's the with friends. Uh, with friends, yeah. That game's okay. Uh, but when you're dyslexic, playing against oh, no, another sorry, dyslexic no, person, uh, you uh, oh, make up that'd words. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I didn't mean Scrabble though, I'm sorry, I meant Boggle. What's Boggle? Oh, bloody hell. But what is Boggle? Boggle is... Boggle. I, I only know of Elder Scrolls as a game. Uh, oh, that Elder Scrolls mobile game? Oh, oh Blade! I, I couldn't get Load into that. of trash. Well, <laughs> no, because you have to pay like $500 to make progress, right? Yeah, it's very pay to win. Uh, I was going to play Odd. Sims 4, but I couldn't be bothered. I am going to buy Deathloop, though, at some point, now that I know it's out on PC, and play some Deathloop. See, I want to play Sims 4 again, but I just I want to go through the hassle of, you know, the update, and then getting all my mods, where they're, you know how it is. This is kind of why I've stopped playing Sims 4, because there's another update, and I can't bother sorting out my mods. <laughs> you have to Sucks. update the mods every time. Yeah, every time oh. you have to update the mods, and you have to go in the game, turn on the mods, um, then exit out, then load it up again. It's tiresome. I just can't be bothered. And the reason why you play mods is because Sims 4 lacks a lot of content. It's crap. <laughs> like yeah. base game wise, it's just crap. Even with the expansions and all that. So you add mods to make it more fun, but mods break every update, and then you have to go through your millions of mods and sort it out. So, crazy. What have you been yeah, doing? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's all that riveting stuff you guys have been playing made me forget the stuff I was. I've been playing some Battlefield Five, kind of trying to get my my head right for Battlefield 2042, and then it got delayed until <laughs> what late November? Yeah, yeah. November. Like doing like two. Yeah, that uh, I've actually been enjoying Battlefield Five. It's kind of one of those games you, if you have a good round, it's great, and if you have a bad round, you never want to play it again. Um, but has it improved your mind? Because I know last week you mentioned that like, you're playing Battlefield Five because you're not sure about getting uh, the new Battlefield. Has that improved at all your attitude towards it or not? I'll tell you, something did improve my my mood, my anticipation, my expectation towards Battlefield 2042, and that was that I bought a used copy of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, comboed with the Modern Warfare Remastered, mm -hmm. at a GameStop for fifteen dollars. So that's like nine squid or whatever you guys buy things with. It uh... squid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, people said it had a great sci-fi campaign. I always wanted to play the campaign, and then it was actually on sale digitally for twenty bucks. And I thought I could do better than that at a at a physical retailer. Picked it up, and I'm I'm probably four missions in, and it is not fun. It uh, like I hmm. have a real difficult time telling the enemies from the allies they don't flinch much when you hit them when they hit you it really disrupts your vision a lot you flinch hard it's it's not particularly difficult but it's kind of tedious for these reasons and like it, it seems like it would probably be a half decent movie uh because the the sequences and cinematics are pretty good but we'll see how it goes the further i play it and then i uh i played the modern warfare one remastered the multiplayer online a little bit and uh Man, the, the kill times in that are way faster than I remember. And then also played the Infinite Warfare a little bit online. And playing both of those makes me really appreciate how much I prefer Battlefield. So 
that's kind of more what's got me excited for 2042 than anything is like man i hate this call of duty thing so so would you uh, recommend battlefield for those who like first person shooters only who... if you have someone to play with because uh, it's very squad based you know and you and you have different roles like somebody's a medic or somebody's support and throw ammo and then uh they got a assault person that's more anti-vehicle. They carry extra explosives and stuff like so that. So, in other words, recon. don't play with you guys because you'll just ditch them. Well, I mean, just, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> but no, I, I like it. If you got if you got somebody to play with and you kind of work together, and feel like if somebody gets gunned down, you can you can revive them. Uh, the so a bit like faster. an MMO when playing with people. A bit like Elder Scrolls, in the dungeons. I don't know. Everything comes back to ESO. Yeah, I don't know if that's a fair comparison or not, but it's. Well, I know it's uh, with MMOs. You do, you have your damage dealers, your healer, um, and your tank, and yeah. you can pick people up and all that. So that's the kind of thing you want to be in a squad. Yeah, yeah. You, the squad gameplay makes it more interesting, and the the maps are bigger, they're wider, they're broader. It's, if you're playing Conquest, you got to control say five points, A through you F. Actually, need it, skill to play. I don't. Well, I mean, if they see you first, you still got a good chance that you're going down, right? So that's the problem with any any ADS type modern shooters is such a tremendous advantage to whoever sees who first, unless they're just absolutely have the wrong go. weapon for that range. What? I said, I said I'll, I'll give it a go. Oh, five, I'll give well, it let go. me know. Let me know. We'll squad up because yeah. I like it. Is so I think it's on also, Game say, Pass. You have to. It, it is part of the EA thing. Yeah. If you. You control these points, that makes their respawn tickets depreciate faster, and that's kind of how you win the conquest game. So, but if you're you're struggling to take B, maybe try to go for after C or D or F or something. Like, but you, sometimes you're just out much matched and you get smashed. But you feel like you have like a little Halo. more freedom than like Call of Duty. You respawn, you run around, you hope you see them first. Yeah. If you move slow, chances are you're going to get shot in the back by somebody moving fast. You know, and if you move fast, chances are you're going to run out in front of somebody camping a corner. So and that's very frustrating for me. I can never quite get my groove. Yeah. Uh, so been playing a lot of that and uh i tried artful escape people are really high on that i don't dig it um uh, it's like the, the art's cool you know the the idea is all right but it didn't grab me it's kind of a side-scrolling musical walking simulator if those are my early impressions but then maybe it gets better but i think i'm gonna opt out on that but then game pass that sounds has dropped terrific like, yeah you check it out the worst part is the guy has everything he needs to be a fantastic folk singer and instead he just wants to shred guitar you know what i mean and it's about finding himself right so all that stupid happy <laughs> <laughs> stop that happy you should I... go, back to go back to playing uh, spirit fair sounds like it i should i should finish better. that because i was really enjoying that and i got distracted by other games but they've they've added quite a few games this last week that i've downloaded and i haven't tried yet uh one of them skatebird it's like Tony Hawk, but you're a bird. How could that not be amazing? Is it a hawk? No, I, I don't know what kind of little bird it is. It's a little feller. Well, and stupid. there's one called I Am Fish, and it looks like... <laughs> I keep seeing that on Twitter, and I really don't want to play it, because I've seen so many ads on Twitter with it. <laughs> I, I don't I don't really even know what it's about. It's 3D. And there's you're a fish, fish trying you're to escape. Yeah, there's some kind of big adventure, but one of them's literally rolling around in a bowl. Yeah. But I think at some point you get to go to space. It's like, how could that not be a good game? I released another song to critical acclaim uh, and several views. So I, it's I started really to, good. I thought it was good. I thought that one was good. Yeah. I, actually, I liked it more I than my like second one. I like that's my favorite one you released. And I like your second one. The third one's my favorite. But... The uh, the seed for my next one's kind of starting to germinate a little bit. I got an idea, and I was looking at chord progressions on that today, so maybe I'll be able to dig into that sometime through the week. And it, uh, I think that's it for me. I can't really remember anything else. So the next topic we're going to talk about is the rumor mill, which is so famous on Twitter. At the moment, it was about Xbox buying a new studio, which probably comes from it's coming up to the Bethesda anniversary. And I think rumours are a load of crap with no base to them, and it's a bit over the top. Grady, you shared some opinions on Twitter about this. Do you want to take the wheel? Well, about the start of this, Stein, who's, uh, I believe he's a marketing media fellow. Dan knows exactly what his job is and who he's related to, I'm sure. 
he uh he put some kind of meme with like a excited stoked surprise face type kind of kind of energy to it about when you leave an xbox meeting and it's like this right and i think he actually took it down but being a week off from the bethesda acquisition people immediately started generating rumors and i uh you know maybe maybe there's something up but probably not and the the worst part is all the reliable sources are being pretty quiet or the guys that i think of as reliable haven't heard anything and they they usually they're usually on this sort of thing so it it leads me to think that it's just runaway rumors but it, my my point on it was that anybody you see teasing this like they know something that nobody else knows any youtuber you follow that knows something that nobody else knows because their sources are saying this you know there's a real good chance that they're full of shit and they're just chasing clout by pretending that they've heard something that they haven't heard and uh that frustrates me i don't find there's no harm at all in like speculating and being exciting about possibilities or something they're having any real information that's been teased but for people to pretend they know trying to get followers is pretty weak well, it seemed like a lot of people doing polls about what Studio Xbox is going to um, buy, and I just think you're setting up. Um, it, it, they do it with video games as well. You build up expectations. When the expectations don't come out, it's disappointment, and then you get all the toxicity from the fan base. I think this is a bit what annoys me about the gaming community. Um, like, it's good that people are excited about stuff, but. You know, it's kind of over the top now. I think it's been going on for about a week at least now. Um, and I'm just like, I don't care now at this point. Like, Microsoft aren't really... I don't think they're going to buy a new studio. Uh, realistically, they spent a lot of money on Bethesda. And there's no actual proof of this apart from... Yeah, there's actually no proof apart from speculation. There is proof, Stefan. All right, my cousin's grandma works at uh, uh, Xbox <laughs> and she said <laughs> he said that she said that they're about to buy electronic arts well so, done well done he did good so what now <laughs> right my cousin's That's mom's my, brother's my sister mom. uncle is related to Phil Spencer and Phil Spencer told you to suck it oh that's a lie <laughs> <laughs> no I I I, there's an insider that will often shed a little light to me. I never ask for anything to be spoiled, but I reached out to this person whenever, whenever these rumors all kicked off, and I'm and I was going, this feels like bullshit. What do you think? And this person said that they hadn't heard anything, and that's that's why I'm kind of out on it. But I, I do really get irritated at the clout chasing. Yeah, that the videos instantly going up, you know, and like, man. Because, I mean, there's so much to play right now anyway that... And then I'm starting to see that feedback a little bit from kind of the, the more actual connected people in the community kind of bringing hype down. So I really don't think there's anything going on. Not that they won't buy more studios, but because no. I think they're yeah. always looking. And I hope they do, because that means more stuff coming to Game Pass. Mm. But. Yeah, because I think the rumor I saw was Take-Two and Warner Brothers Studios. That would be huge. That would be huge yeah. money. I don't know how you'd ever... It'd be like buying CD Projekt Red. Good luck. I mean, well, I was going to say, because they did buy um, the owners of Bethesda, and that was a massive purchase. Yeah. So if they would take on something like Take-Two, that would be massive as well, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think that's just unrealistic expectations. And then uh, someone else was mentioned, like, they managed to wind up a lot of fanboys uh, by making a fake meme. Uh that they're buying Sony, like Sony's gonna sell some oh. of the studios to Microsoft. <laughs> uh, I was in hysterics just reading the cult, like the tweets underneath it. Like some people were so upset about it, and I'm like, do you really believe this? Like, good, good on them for like spending time making a fake meme to make it look real. Truly, maybe maybe well. someday that'll happen. You know, as Google and and Apple and all the other Amazon as these companies move into the space. You know, you might see a day where Microsoft and, and Sony come together to kind of oppose that, but I do not think that is this day. Well, and none of us know anything because there's nothing to really talk about or know, right? So it's just us reacting to people reacting to stuff that they created. Yeah. But uh, if, that, if there are more acquisitions, like I said, I, I would be happy to see even more content come to Game Pass because I that's 
my primary way of playing games these days. I'll, I'll buy one here and there. But uh, I, I don't really have any interest in stuff becoming exclusive, if that makes sense. I'm, I like things coming to Game Pass, but it, I really don't get any joy out of something not being available on another platform. Well, this is like the same rumor that annoys me about Elder Scrolls Six coming to Xbox exclusively, and there's been nothing solidly said about it. And like people mistaken me as not, you know, being a PlayStation fanboy by saying, "Where's the proof?" Um, and it came to the conclusion like the person misread what they were saying, uh, and it was about Starfield, not I Elder mean, Scrolls Six. Yeah, there's no proof mm -hmm. of it, but it will be exclusive. Mm, I, I don't know, because I think because Elder Scrolls is such a big game across multiple communities, which has been for a very long time, I highly doubt it. But then stuff like um, Outright... Uh, uh, not Outriders. Oh, you're oh. thinking Outer Worlds. Yeah, because uh, like, Outer World 2 is be becoming an um, Xbox exclusive, but you kind of understand that, because it was only the first of a series of games. And like people speculating that if they make a Deathloop two, that's gonna be Xbox exclusive, but just don't know. And I think something big, if Elder Scrolls Six was to become exclusive, I think that would be one hell of a story. But I don't think it's gonna happen, and I don't like games going exclusive that way because uh, Elder Scrolls has a huge fan base, and to see people not being able to play it, it kind of sucks. I don't, I don't take disagree. joy out of that. I do take And there's a little bit of past precedence where Minecraft stayed available on all platforms. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised at all if Elder Scrolls went exclusive to Xbox and PC. I'd rather it didn't because uh, I know some people play PlayStation who play Elder Scrolls and I like talking with them because they're big Elder Scrolls fans as well. So I think if it goes exclusive, that would be isolating a whole entire fan base. And I don't think these people go out and buy a new PC or an xbox just to play old scrolls i'll say this though uh by the time it comes out we'll be on like 7g cellular service and internet well they're still rolling out still... 5g across the uk <laughs> right but Elder scrolls ain't gonna come out for 20 years that's my point uh but you can stream uh xbox games with the cloud to your phone your tablet your pc your your older console and that stuff's just going to get better if it's supported. So yeah. if it does go exclusive to Xbox platforms, at least there'll be a cheap stream option. You yeah. know, somebody could get a, a couple months subscription or whatever and play it that way maybe. I don't think it'll be completely locked down and, and that much inconvenience to get access to, like games of the past at least. Yeah. It's like even Sony like now is much. pushing a lot of their you know quote exclusives to PCs sooner than or ever. just buy a PC and game like a freaking... God. Well, because when me and Dan were talking uh, during his interview about PS Showcase, and uh, Dan mentioned that they bought a PC port company, I think that's great that it's allowing games which used to be exclusive to PlayStation to um, actually be able to play it on another way, because it means that we don't have to fork out for a new console just to play certain games, like uh, God of War, which is only rumoured... Um, Due to right. someone hacking into the NVIDIA stuff. But it'll be nice if it does smart. come to PC. Yeah, I'd like to see more games on more platforms. I don't. The You'll start to lose a little bit of the. I don't know what the word is. I'm going to use prestige, but it's not. It's like a Nintendo properties. You know what I mean? There's. You have to have yeah. a Nintendo to play this, and it creates almost, and they don't release that much, so it becomes more like an event than just a game. And then it's the water cooler thing, everybody's excited about it. And as, as you broaden your base, pretty soon you got Steam, where a hundred games come out every day, and nobody plays or hears of any of them. So yeah, pretty much. And no one remembers back when a crowd of people so huge they could be seen from space wore different colored shirts and created Mario's face by standing in different positions. It was a magical moment. In the history of Earth, and I, uh, I wish that we could go back to that time. <laughs> That's gonna be awful. <laughs> it's gonna. Be gonna it. uh, yeah, I mean the uh, the last two were so good, so it can only no, it, continue in that. In all fairness, direction. it'll probably be, it'll probably be all right. I like the first one when I was younger. It's really difficult to watch now, in my opinion. I don't think it's aged well at all. I think it's super corny. Yeah, it's super. I'm related to 
Have a lovely week. Uh, we'll see you again next uh, next week, same time. But until then, just carry on gaming. See you next week.